The Steam Train. Created in 1802 by Richard Tvethick, it was the first mode of transportation to outpace the stage horse and haul a vast amount of weight for little comparable effort. These beautiful machines were the pinnacle of engineering and mechanised beauty, earning them names such as the Flying Scotsman or the Maillard. In 1860, the first commercially successful combustion engine was invented by Etienne Lenoir, starting a whole new revolution for transport. On the 11th of August 1967, at 7.58pm, a train known as the 5428 LMS Black 5 locomotive pulled into Liverpool, along with 450 rail enthusiasts, into the Lime Street station, under the arched glass roofs. This train was special, because as it pulled into the same station where passenger steam locomotion began all those years ago, it started to signify the historical moment known as the end of steam. The beautiful machines, the former height of engineering, were reduced to scrapyards. There is one steam line that has never closed down, a railway that's been in operation for over 100 years. This line is the Vale of Rydal Railway. The Vale of Rydal is a narrow gauge railway situated in Ceredigion. Starting at the tourist town of Aberystwyth and travelling along the Rydal Valley to Pontevinach, better known as Devil's Bridge. The line was finished in 1902, primarily pulling freight until it started a tourist passenger service later that December. Tourism became a secondary yet monetarily lucrative duty of the railway as hundreds of people a year would come to the railway for a beautiful journey up to Pontevinach. The line would trade hands for years before joining the company in which the engines still sport their livery. Great Western Rail. Eventually, the railway was privatised as a heritage railway, taking tourists up and down the same line it has run for over a century. The Vale of Rydal has had many locomotives throughout its 121 years of operation, from the large garret to the smaller Pereri tanks. However, there are more locomotives in this railway's history than the ones that remain today. So, let's start with these forgotten locomotives. Built in 1902, this locomotive was one of the first 262 tank engines to work on the Vale of Rydal. Number 1, Edward VII, along with her sister locomotive, Number 2, Prince of Wales, were Davies and Metcalf locomotives. Davies and Metcalf were experienced in the maintenance of steam locomotives, but they were contracted to build the locomotives because, and I quote, Mr. Metcalf was an Aberystwyth man. The first train to commute along the Vale of Rydal Railway in 1902 was a seven-year-old 240T Bagnall locomotive named Number 3 Rydal. This locomotive was originally named Trezor de Mayo, before being named Talabont. The locomotive I am currently being pulled by is number 8, Llewellyn. It pulls us past Llambadan Holt before crossing the level crossing at the A4120 and over the Rydal River, which is the namesake of the line, before pulling us in to Granaravon Holt. All three of the 262 tanks are surviving locomotives from 1923 and 24. However, there is one train newly added to the fleet. The Drakensberg is a double prairie garret locomotive, 
that resided in Switzerland until 2017, when it was gifted to the Vale of Rydal. She underwent an overhaul in the following years before finishing her trial runs in 2021 and continues to be part of the summer services since. For centuries, since the Victorian era, Aberystwyth has been a tourist destination in Wales, once being named the Baritz of Wales. The Rydal provides yet another experience to have in Aberystwyth taking you through the absolutely stunning sights of the valley around the various towns. The view between Kapelbanga and Nantaronen is absolutely stunning, with a beautiful lake view and a sight of the hills. The sights alone make the Rydal a worthwhile trip, but the experience of the carriage is something to admire. Of course, it's not like nothing has changed in the past 100 years. The original station was further into town. There was a level crossing going through Park Avenue for the train to cross and join its current route. Llanbadarn used to have less foliage and didn't have a playground. The same can be said for Glanor Avon. Nantaronen's station didn't have a platform. It was just a water tank and a shed. Pontavanach was originally much more barren, with less greenery and attractions around it. The trains are nothing without their operators. The driver is the person who is in charge of the train. They are responsible for making sure the train runs smoothly without an accident. The fireman is responsible for the administration of coal into the firebox, which is what helps the train move and increase speed. The staff at every railway have to work in tandem with efficiency to ensure that there are no problems on the line, and the Vale of Rydal is no exception. Back during nationalisation, British Rail had been very neglectful of the steam train line, providing it with less and less funding every year. This made maintenance even harder to do. Eventually, a derailment occurred in Aberfrood. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. However, this was enough to highlight the problems with the line and increase funding. The Vale of Rydal has gained much of its funding from ticket sales. Thanks to generous donation and tourism, this stunning railway can continue pulling passengers through the same valley it's pulled through for over a century. This extraordinary line has survived the passage of time, continuing to thrive throughout the years. The future looks bright for the Vale of Rydal Railway, with funding increasing and even more work being done on their rolling stock. They're on their way to restoring the Rydal to its original glory. 
The Rydal flies past various landmarks, through beautiful scenery, valleys of green, and dense forests. Such as the exciting Rydal Riding Centre in Kapilbangar, or the delicious foods of a caban in Glanaravon. My name is Louise, um, I have just taken over the food caban and so I am the chef here. I cook daily specials um, each day and uh, yeah, feed up the people of Aberystwyth and people passing on through. I'm new to this area but I'm not um, new to the train, the steam train. I have experience of being on the train and working in the previous cafe where the train goes to. We're a little bit out of the way here, but it is a really good conversation starter when we hear the toot go on and people can ask what that is and we're able to talk about it and direct people down to where, where the train goes from and where they can see it from. So yeah, we're, we're open now from 10am um, till 6pm so that we can do picnic um, boxes for dog walkers and anybody else who wants to enjoy the evening sun walk down past the train tracks, watch the train go by and uh, maybe grab yourself a little picnic as it goes by in toot toots. To find the Rydal and book a ticket, you can go down to the Vale of Rydal station in Aberystwyth or go to their website and book online.